Hello people of the tube and welcome back to another review. Today I'm reviewing a film called The Possession of Michael King. Now I'm not a huge fan of possession movies, but believe me when I say this movie is pretty damn good. Uh, never have I really enjoyed a possession movie this much. It's a story of a man whose wife had passed away, so now he's doing a uh, biography or uh, experimental video, something like that, uh, to prove that God doesn't exist in all these spells and incantations that will make the devil come, or bullshit. So he does a bunch, he brings, like, the dead back to life, and he does all this stupid shit that doesn't work. Then after a while, shit starts going to hell. His body starts, like, doing weird shit, and, uh, he starts waking up in the middle of the night, and starts drawing shit on his body, and he accidentally stabs a dog, and he, well, gets possessed by a demon. And now, this movie sounds generic as fuck, and it is. And here's the reason why I really enjoyed it, and I absolutely despise possession movies. Because they're not scary, they're boring as fuck, they always have the same build-up, the same payout, they're all garbage. But this one is different. The man who plays Michael King is a goddamn great actor. This dude is amazing in this movie. He, you feel sorry for him. He, you make he makes you feel like shit watching him turn into this monster. He's a good fucking actor. He, dude, if there was Oscars for her films, this dude fucking needs one because this one did a great job. Uh, if you've never seen The Possession of Michael King, the acting is superb. Uh, the ending is unexpected. It's different than most. It's a really enjoyable film. If you've never seen it, I definitely give this one a thumbs up, The Possession of Michael King.